I'm Arseny Kuznetsov, and I work in Singapore in the uh, Institute of Material Research and Engineering in ASTAR. And um, our team there is working with what is called dielectric nanoantennas. So we have small, tiny dielectric objects which can control light at nanoscale dimensions. So basically, it's kind of similar to a normal antenna. So you know antenna in radio frequencies. And uh, basically, you probably also know that antenna is a resonant element. So that means the size of antenna is something similar to the wavelength. But if we want to have antenna working for light, we need to shrink down to size because the wavelength of light is a million times smaller than the wavelength of radio frequency. So we need to reduce this size a million times and go into the dimensions of the order of uh, 100 nanometers. And that's how, what is nano-antenna. So it's just an antenna working for light. So you can make an array of such antennas and then shine light or radiation, which is much larger than that. And each of the antennas will locally change the phase and amplitude of light. And then by combining all of that, you can either make light focus or make light create some other functions, create a hologram, create whatever you want with light. Because, uh, depending on how you fabricate, depending on dimensions, depending on geometry, uh, there will be function changed, right? So if, if you want to control your light, you need to select the right geometry and right dimension of your antenna. That's why typically research in this field would start with uh, an idea of what function you want to achieve, then some sort of simulations to create, basically to learn what is the size or shape of the antennas which is needed, and then it comes to fabrication and, and measurements. So I think initially it was starting as a fundamental research, right? So we were interested in resonances as small nanoparticles, but now it's going towards applications, so we are really trying to find applications for, for this new technology. And I think there are many of them because more and more devices uh, based on light require the small dimensions that require light control at small scale. So uh, I think the first material which was studied in, in this field was silicon, which was actually a very convenient material to do antennas because nanofabrication is very well developed and it's also high refractive index. But recently, uh, more and more new materials are used just because silicon is not ideal, not perfect in visible range. It's already start absorbing. That's why people are now use titanium dioxide. They use free five semiconductor material all sorts of new materials. With each new material, it brings new functionalities. For example, at this conference, I was presenting kind of lasers made out of this antenna. So because we could make them out of active materials like gallium arsenide, and then we could make them lasing. And it was the first laser based on a uh, nano-antenna concept. Once we uh, get to these ideas of dielectric nano-antennas, so we understood that they can be done out of active materials. And uh, this idea we got quite a long time ago, probably around uh, 2013. And since then, we were trying to find the right arrangement or right nanofabrication process. And finally, I think this year or end of last year, we were lucky enough to finally uh, find good configuration and good material system which allowed us to achieve this lasing. So basically, what needs to be done, we select a material. And this material has a specific wavelength range where it emits. And then we control the resonance of our antennas to bring it exactly to this wavelength. To, to be able to, to lace, because what you need is to create a good cavity with a high quality factor, and that's what you need to do. You need to engineer resonances of antennas to, to create such kind of cavity. But next step would be to create a real device, so which can be pumped using electrical signal. And also the second thing would be to control the directionality, so to basically arrange antennas in a way that it has a small structure, but at the same time with directional emission, because this is one of the advantages of such lasers, because when you have an antenna, you can control resonances and can control where does it emit. One of the uh, applications which is now discussed a lot, and I think already the first companies there, is related to what is called uh, flat optics or metasurfaces. So basically, this is an array of such antennas, each of those controlling light, and then you can shape the wavefront and focus light or create some vortex beams. So basically, create any functionality which you require, but very, with just a simple layer of such kind of nano antennas. So. Uh, this is done to replace conventional optics, conventional lenses with something which is much more compact. So you can imagine that in the future, uh, your cell phone camera, for example, will be much smaller and then you can fit it into smaller dimensions. But uh, this is the first direction, which I think is already on the way. And uh, there are many more. And one of those which we believe is very promising is related to tunable nanoantennas like that. And then in this case, we can create not just static lens, but probably something like a projector, which can be used for, for example, augmented reality glasses or for holographic displays in the future.